Descript has done something with its software that I have been crossing my fingers and hoping they would do. Polished layout templates. They're finally here. They're better than I could have ever expected. So let me show you what I mean. I have a Descript project open here. This is actually the intro that I just recorded and then pulled that file into Descript to start the tutorial. And Descript has always had this scenes option where you have layouts, you can choose a layout, they give you a bunch of templates. You could hit uh, change layout pack, go to gallery, and they've always had these pre-built template packs. And that's great, those are wonderful. That's not new. What's new is a whole collection of template packs that have these smooth, seamless transitions to kind of polish up your edit without spending so much time fiddling with all of those advanced settings. And you could always do this with Descript, but it was time consuming, it was clunky. Now you can just choose a template and like with the click of a button, it's right there on your timeline and then you can adjust things from there. And by the way, these layouts and layout packs are templates. They used to be called templates and then Descript started calling them layouts and a layout pack is sort of what you see here. It's a pack of layouts that all kind of fit the same aesthetic or the same design or feel. And of course, you probably want to adjust these to match your own branding. So we'll get to that before the end. Stick with me here. Anytime you're using templates, they work with scenes. Scenes are actually one of the most confusing features of Descript, but almost all of the magic that happens in Descript happens because of scenes. So let me explain the basics. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Meredith. I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your thriving YouTube channel and YouTubeify your business. And this is part of an extended series of Descript tutorials here on my channel. So if you want to get the most out of Descript, make sure you hit subscribe. I also have a Descript cheat sheet that I updated just today with some of the changes that Descript recently released. So back to these cool template layouts. I have my transcript up here. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't edited it. You can see all, all of my mistakes and there are many. And you can also see my timeline down here at the bottom. Understanding scenes sort of requires you to have a visual on the timeline. And I know that one of the big like selling points of Descript is you don't have to edit your video with the timeline editor and you don't have to, but it's helpful to see what's going on in the timeline. So don't be afraid to open up your timeline so you can see your script and the timeline. A scene is just a way of telling the software that you want something different to happen in the frame. And the way that you create a scene, like the simple way, is to just hit the slash button on your keyboard. You can see that we now have a slash right here in the script. And then down here on the timeline, if I zoom in, you can see a very faint visual line here. We didn't cut anything. We didn't make a trim to any of the clips. It's just a little signpost that says, hey, we want something different to happen right here in the video. So if you want to move between a couple of these different really smooth polished layouts that Descript has, you do that by creating individual scenes where you want them to be in the video. So I still have my scenes menu open over here. I'm gonna go to Descript, choose layout, and then I want to look at this scene pack or layout pack right here. I'm gonna hit 16 more. It's gonna give me 16 more options and I wanna play with this one. So did you see what happened there? Because down here where I have my scene, that signpost, it placed a placeholder. And then also if you look at the video itself, I changed places like it zoomed in, it moved me over. And then we have this graphic over here as a placeholder. I have been waiting ever for this. I make so many mistakes when I'm recording my videos. It's not even funny. That is why Descript is a lifesaver for me. So it created all of the transitions that have to happen all on its own, all with a click of a button. This would have taken 15 to 20 minutes to get right if I had to set these transitions and animations up from scratch. So then all we have to do is click the placeholder down here and I'm just going to right click we're going to hit replace media. It'll open up a menu. I don't 
want to use any of these other options. I'm just going to grab a media file from my computer. I'm going to pull in a screenshot from a thread that I posted a couple of weeks ago. And it just completely took the place of the placeholder. And all of the animations are going to be intact. I have been waiting ever for this. Now I could actually come in here and put this somewhere else on the screen or make it bigger or smaller. Or if I double click, I could actually change the cropping that happens. Like maybe I just want it to be this part of the note. I also see that I have a little bit of a rounded edge, so that's cool. I can adjust that. So I'm taking whatever Descript had designed in the layout and making it my own. I'm gonna hit enter just to get out of that crop mode. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. I kind of look like a newscaster. It's cool, it's smooth, I love it. How easy was that? Now, there is a little problem here you might be able to see. Because I added this one scene, that one signpost, and then I told the script, okay, I want this change to happen on the screen. The change happened, and then it's staying on the screen for the entire rest of the video. And it, it's this is just my intro that's unedited. So it's not that long, but I don't want it to be on the screen that long. What if I want it to like transition out. So personally, if I'm using a layout or even if I just put anything on the screen and then I want it to go away after, this is a more streamlined way to do it. Just go to your transcript, highlight the actual text where you want, you know, at the beginning where it has with, this is where I want something to transition in. And then where it has the options, this is where I want it to transition out. And with that text selected, if I then come to scenes and then Descript, and then we're gonna choose, oh, I guess we're choosing this one. You can see down here in the timeline that it placed a bunch of stuff on the timeline and it created those scene boundaries for me because I had the text selected. And I was saying, this is where I want my in and my out, and it put it down there for me. So we can fiddle with what that looks like in a moment. If you change your mind and you say, oh shoot, I actually wanted this to come in like here, I could change this beginning scene boundary, just select it and move it. And it will change the beginning of this transition and extend it automatically. Now you can definitely see here how when I said you might want to uh, kind of like adjust these a little bit to fit your branding and your colors, this black to white gradient is not really my look. It's not bad, but it's just, it doesn't fit my branding. So we're gonna fix that in a minute. Before we get to that, I wanna show you another update that Descript recently made that has to do with these layouts and that's these smart transitions. So you've always been able to add transitions to your composition that you're working on, your video project. They've gotten better over time, but they've always been like, a little clunky, but with this new update, you can use the smart transitions with your own layouts without even using the Descript template pack or anything like that. And the smart transitions are actually in beta. I played around with them a little bit. I got them to work once and I couldn't make them work again for this recording. So I might just be doing it wrong or perhaps it's just a little bit finicky. Now let's talk about what we can do with your colors, your branding, your logos. These layout packs are so full of so many options that what you might want to do is actually, if you know like the name of the layout pack that you're looking for, you could just search for it here or they have a filter option. If you click that, then you could actually decide, I'm looking for template packs that are portrait mode and uh, let's see, script layers, match composition. So let's just hit show all layouts. And this is what it gives us all of these options for just vertical layouts. So you can play with those to find exactly what you are looking for. But as you can see, you know, some of these have like a certain type of branding that might not match your branding. How can we fix that? Well, up here in the top uh, corner of this layout pack uh, display here, you have these three dots 
when you open that up, you get a menu, duplicate the entire layout pack. You can see layout pack duplicated. And if you've never played around with the templates and layouts function, so this looks like a regular video project, right? But it does tell you here, you're editing a layout pack. So we have like placeholder footage for your timeline uh, script footage here, but you also have multiple compositions up here at the top. So one Descript project, template pack project, and then multiple compositions down here. And these are the different template packs within the within the template pack. <laughs> They're the different groups of templates within the template pack. So as I go through these, you can see all of these different layouts. There is a ton. And now that this is the Descript template pack copy, this is in your own Descript account. So you could come in here and rename this. We'll put Meredith's version. Okay, so let's start at the very top. This first template pack, camera landscape, there's really no branding in here. It's just like a roll talking to a camera with varying levels of zoomed in and out. Let's come down here to screen. Ah, uh, yes, this is where we have some branding that we might want to adjust. So all this is, is an image, right? So if I come over here to project and layout pack assets, you can see all of the different assets because remember, this is just like a Descript project. It just happens to be a template project or a layout pack project. So all of the media is in here. Now without messing anything up in this animation or the sequence. I'm going to find this file down here, the animated something something dot JPEG, hit those three dots. I'm going to come down to replace file. It's letting me know that this may damage my project, only replace it to fix a corrupted or distorted file. I'm going to hit choose file. We'll find this file on my desktop, hit replace. And we just replaced that background throughout this entire layout pack. How flipping cool is that? So easy. And remember when you hit publish on your layout pack up here, it's going to save right here to your own Descript account. You can change the names over here if you want to. Let's just hit publish layout pack. Just remember, if we need to find it again, it'll be called Descript Meredith's version. And let's see if there's anything else that we can brand a little bit more. Oh yes, that black gradient. I'm not really loving that. So let me see if I can find the file. Okay, so this gradient is just a PNG file. So in theory, you could do the exact same thing that I just did, replace with my new background. We'll hit replace. And now I have this new background across any and all of these. So this is just a black placeholder. Okay, got it. Let's see over here. Yep, that looks good. Awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Down here under titles, you could update your social handles. Obviously, you could even change your background color to something. You might even be able to add an image in there as well. So it's not just like a plain Jane, boring color. I really like these list options. You're gonna wanna uh, update these with your preferred font, your preferred color and things like that. Now, one thing I wanna do with the, the speaker layouts where your name comes in is maybe see if we can add a logo. I'm just gonna copy this text start a new line, paste it in. I'm gonna hit a slash here. Now I have to fix my ending little sections here and kind of like start from scratch. So I've got this gradient, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it, copy, paste. And I got this rectangle. That's this vertical guy right there. And then I'm gonna paste that in as well. The gradient can stay where it is. That's just this it's actually an image gradient over here. We're gonna leave that there for the time being. The title is definitely gonna to have to change. Like I might as well put my name in here, but we also need to change a couple of things about this text box. So I need to shorten it up. I'm gonna 
unlink. I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter. And then this rectangle, I'm going to make sure that it's selected down here in the timeline and then come up to size and position and just move it over. We're going to put it right here. Animations should work. This is placeholder media. They work fine. They're just all shifted over. Now I found my VBA logo. I drag this down to my files under the layout pack assets, and I'm just going to pull this down here to the timeline. Obviously we are going to change the size and the location. So let me just do that now. We're going to come in here. You can see that rectangle, that vertical rectangle here. It's just starting to fade in because of where we are down here on the timeline, right? So if I move my cursor, we can see the name and the rectangle, and we can see that obviously the logo is not in line with everything else. So here's what this would look like. This is placeholder media. So everything else kind of animates in and up, and then the logo was like, boop, here I am. So let's try to add in a, an animation right there on that logo. So I have the logo selected in the timeline. Got animation selected over here. We're going to do an animation in the name slides up, right? So maybe we can slide and instead of sliding up, we can slide over and we want to see how it says distance. We actually want the distance to be 100%. We want it to start completely off. This is placeholder media. Ooh, did you see that? If I come under duration, I could actually slow it down a little bit by saying like, let's let this come in over the course of about a second. And then instead of this elastic thing, let's just see what slow down looks like. This is placeholder media that you'll- Oh, see that's- that's cute. It just kind of like gently slides into place. Now, again, I'm going to hit publish over here, publish changes since I just made a bunch of changes so that all of these changes save into my account and I can use all of these fancy smooth templates anytime I'm editing a video, but they're branded to me. Are you guys excited about this? High five to Descript for getting these out like they are because they're really good. I'm going to have to play with these settings quite a bit more, which is good because this is just one video in 21 days of Descript. So if you want more Descript tutorials from myself, then make sure you hit subscribe and I'll queue up my whole Descript playlist for you here. And I'll also link to my Descript cheat sheet down in the description.